Hi, I'm Cara and I'm part of the customer success team here at HR Partner. We wanted to put together a short video for you just to show you around your new ESS, your new employee self-service portal. So for the purpose of this demonstration, my name is Gracie Collins and I am a senior pilot at the company Aerial Air Charters. So you will have received your login details to your portal via email. And once you click through the links in that email, you'll be taken to a home page that looks something similar to this one. The information at the top here is information that tends not to change about you. So that will be your department, your location. It may also have your date of birth, your length of service and details such as those. Scrolling a bit further down, you'll see some shortcuts to some frequently used areas of the system. If yours don't look exactly the same as this, don't worry. It's very much down to which modules within HR Partner your company have turned on. Scrolling a bit further down, you'll see some tasks and things that may need your attention. So, for example, if you've been assigned any checklists, you'll see those here. If you've been submitting leave requests, you'll see those here too. Your position history, if you've changed roles within the company. Scrolling a bit further down, you'll see your leave calendar. OK. And then if we look towards the left hand side, you'll see your navigation menu, again, showing you all areas of the system that you have access to. The first thing we'd recommend that you do when you log into HR Partner is select the My Profile option. Just take a little look first and foremost and make sure that all of these contact details are accurate for you if there are contact details there. If not, please do select add new contact. The type of contact detail you want to add from this drop down list here and then the detail itself. So the phone number or the email address will go into this section here. If it's a primary contact address, please tick this box. You need to make sure you do have a primary contact address set up with an HR partner and that should be your work email address. That makes you contactable to your system administrators. You also need to check that your home address details are correct. And if not, or if they're not there, please add a new address here and follow the same steps as we did for the other contact details and make sure you hit save. And scrolling a little bit further down, you'll see that you can upload your profile picture right here and you can write yourself a little biography, which is a nice little touch in a world where we're all working remotely from home. Scrolling further up again, you'll see that you'll be also be able to access a directory which should show you all of your colleagues within the business and any contact details that they have decided to publish within the portal, their positions, departments and location. You can also see the different time zones should that be relevant to you. Now, if you ever have any problems with HR Partner, please do take a look at our website www.hrpartner.io and then if you head over to the support tab right here, click on the support tab, click on help documentation. And if you see at the top here, the shortcut for tutorials for employees. And you'll see here the different articles we have and the different categories you can look into down this side. We will also be posting you some more videos to talk you through the different modules that you do have access to and to explain how to do things such as submitting leave requests and things like that. So thank you very much for your time, for your patience and enjoy using the system. Thank you. Goodbye.